on you guys welcome to a new video on sword online fatal bullet my name is Vinis Eschiet and I'm back with a new build video for you I like to call this one the electro boom build because it is literally a super electrifying build that adds a terrifying explosion with the destroyer class let's get right into it So as always, first order of business, I'm just going to show you my status right now and where all of my points are allocated. All right, so here we go. I've got 121 on the strength, 103 in the vitality, 118 in the intelligence, 118 in the agility, 138 in the dexterity, and 32, that's very important, 32 in the lug so you can get all the skills. All right, so the first skill set is the AR. We got armor form 2, which really could be armor form 3, but I don't have it. Electrodynamic stunner 2 and electrodynamic stunner 3. Both of them at the same time with the healing field shot. That's definitely a must. Okay, and then on the destroyer class, we got Nemesis Burst 3, Plasma Blast, Graviton Shot 3, and then Dash Attack. It doesn't have to be Dash Attack, you can use anything else, but definitely you want to make sure you have that Plasma Blast and the Graviton Shot. Nemesis Burst, that's sort of an optional thing. All right, so basically what you're going to do with this build is you're going to use it for a triple stun. The triple stun is like OD, like super duper helpful because what you do is you hit the electrodynamic stunner one, uh, elect I mean electrodynamic stunner two, and then you hit electrodynamic stunner. I can't say electrodynamic stunner super fast. We'll just say electro stun. Can I get away with that? You hit electro stun two, then you hit electro stun three, and then you hit the plasma burst back to back like that, and anything in your path is going to be stunned to where you can do massive amounts of damage. Now, this is a harder mission that I'm doing right here. This is with the new DLC, Betrayal of Comrades. This is in the new dungeon, and this is just OD retarded because all the enemies, I did this on stream one day, the first time that I did it, these three guys, they completely ignore your support characters, and they come right at you. So it is super necessary for you to stun them, unless you just are just OD, oh my god level, and you have OD, oh my god, weapon rank 9 legendary weapons, which I haven't been able to find any legendary weapon rank 9 weapons if you have. You, I am jealous of you. Actually, jealous. I wish I had a, a legendary or an epic weapon rank 9. That would be dope. But uh, yeah, man, so this build is pretty much self-explanatory. It's really you know easy to melt these two giant robot Nephilim thingies. They melt. In this encounter right here, this specific encounter, the thing you have to really worry about is that fucking... Uh, what is the, the the crawler, the walker thing? The shooting phage. Is it a shooting phage? This thing is so annoying because it will definitely track you down I got it stunned over here in this corner. It's caught. This is a sweet spot. Whenever you find a glitch like this, man, exploit it. And having that Graviton shot, because it just keeps them all in place, and you can just keep doing the stuns, it's amazing. All right, so that thing, he helped out his teammates by stunning me. And look at this. Oh, no. You got to get out of there. All right, but I'm not going to ramble too much. I'll just let you watch the fight, and let me know what you think about this build. Now, listen, if you have any improvements to this build, if you think you have a way to make this build any better than it already is, definitely let me know that down in the comments below because I'm always looking to hear your ideas for builds. And if you have any build ideas in general, definitely let me know that, and I'll use it in a fight, and I'll, you know, credit you on the next video or whatever like that because, you know, we all are trying to help each other to play better and, you know, make things a lot easier because we know some of these fights, hella hard. The uh, fight between the Hakai brothers? Yeah, haven't done it yet. I was actually yesterday trying to farm and get the freaking, the, the, the flight part that lets me do the home thing. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, that thing is so hard to do. Oh my god, I got frustrated trying to get that flight. It's a flight actuator or, or a flight manipulator or some crap like that. You, if you know what I'm talking about, you got a DLC too and you're trying to get that part, bro. There's only, like, one spot where you can get it at, dude, and it's just, it's, I, there might be more spots, but this is the only spot that I know of. I can't think of the actual name of this thing. That's actually what I was doing in this, this video clip. I was trying to go get the part, and I was just like, man, I mean, I did have an idea to show you this build before anyway, but I did, I, I was trying to get that part so I can make the video for the uh, home expansion, because I know a lot of people were asking for the home expansion stuff, and uh, by now, you guys have probably already done it. If you haven't, let me know that down in the comments below, and I will, like, work really, really hard to get that video out for you, show you exactly what I did to get it. Because I only have to do, I got two more steps to do, and, and getting that flight part is like the last step in the process. So, um, hope you guys continue to have a, a great rest of your day. Thank you for coming and checking out the video. And I urge you, please, in the comments below right now, show me your build. Tell me what build that you're using. And if you don't have a name for your build, be crazy with it. Show me the freaking, you know, make up a name for the build, man. Let's have some fun with this game because this game is not dead. This game is alive, and it's hella, hella fun. 
if you've got like a photon blade build for PvP, I would love to hear that. Alright guys, you take care and I'll see you next time. Peace out.